So what will it take to make China a nation of innovation? I'm joined now from Los Angeles by Sung Won Soon. He is a professor of economics at California State University, Channel Islands. Well, as China looks to the future, a slowing economy, of course, present, how important is innovation for the future in fueling China's economic growth? It is a very important. In the 1990s, uh, the Chinese economy used to grow as fast as 14% uh, a year. It is now down to 65 and then some people say it's going lower. The reasons are essentially twofold. Number one, labor force growth is uh, slowing. Not only that, but the age is getting older, the, the labor force is getting grayer. So then, you know, how do you offset the slowing uh, labor force growth? You need the productivity through innovation. So uh, this is really very crucial because uh, this will offset the uh, drag coming from slowing labor force growth. growth. And China, of course, trying to shift to this new economy, that isn't easy. I mean, there's uh, some stresses and strains that go with that. Uh, talk to us about that shift. Well, uh, the, uh, you know, there are, uh, the, the government has, uh, say, has said that uh, innovation will be a very key, and I, I agree. But uh, we need uh, both uh, low-tech as well as high-tech innovation. Uh, in terms of low-tech innovation, for example, Alibaba, they've uh, set up uh, over 10,000 Internet stores so that the local folks can uh, order fertilizer from the cities and also sell honey from uh, their production. And so that uh, this is, you know, a form of innovation. But also we need uh, advanced innovation, such as uh, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, uh, virtual reality, uh, clean energy, and uh, autonomous cars, and the list can go on. But uh, these are some of the things that China can do to uh, uh, spur economic growth and then offset, again, as I pointed out, the slowing aging uh, population, the labor force. Uh, so I think uh, innovation will be very, very key in uh, growing the Chinese economy in the future. Can you speak to the importance of international partnerships in terms of innovation and growth? Uh, it is also very important. Uh, first of all, you know, things are getting more complicated. So it's kind of like a space station. Uh, there is really no need to reinvent the wheels. If you could have a strategic alliance and then some sort of a joint ventures, uh, you not only have a more productive uh, outcomes, uh, but also uh, uh, hopefully you can you know, get it done faster. Uh, in uh, this case, uh, you know, that means uh, you can not only cut costs, but also probably come up with a better products. Uh, of course, in this regard, you need uh, copyright protections and the intellectual property uh, uh, you know, laws, uh, uh, the uh, 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 protected as well. And then so I think in the uh, future, it will be, I think, more important to have international cooperation. Again, as I pointed out, uh, this way you do not have to reinvent the wheels and then you can get, get cut costs and at the same time hopefully come up with a better product. You don't have to reinvent the wheel, but you kind of are going into uncharted territory in some respects because I think you touched on something interesting, uh, intellectual property protection, copyright, uh, copyright laws. Uh, those are definitely entrenched in the United States. Where's China in terms of that? Uh, I think it has uh, quite a ways to go. Uh, many people in the Western world, uh, such as uh, Europe and uh, America, are concerned about going into China. They want to go into China, but uh, one of the biggest concerns they have is uh, the loss of uh, uh, technology. And, uh, you know, you hear many horror stories about uh, what happened after going into China. So uh, that is in the past. In the future, I think uh, China must uh, come to the level where the international standards are and make sure that uh, intellectual property uh, rights are respected and also, uh, you know, once it is on the books, uh, uh, they are enforced. Sung Won Son joining us from Los Angeles. Thanks so much. Thank you. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.